Hey, what's up guys? Team Hard Life Captain Albert Zertici here. All right, so on our video of the six sails, we actually stitched them up and cut the PVC for them. Now it's time to assemble them. But at the same time too, I got to thinking about how I explain how the sail works to you. All right guys, so when I was explaining to y'all about how to set up the sail and why I was cutting it a certain way, I explained something to y'all about how the four float system works on it. And so it got me thinking, I was like, if I got that much pressure on the front side of the sail, I really don't need an ex big extension toward the back because yes, as it's going out, that back buoy will keep it from flipping backwards. But at the same time too, the front hook assembly section. So on that note, I'm actually going to cut down the back side of my floats. And what I mean by that, I'm going to cut down the back side of the, the sail line, which was this end. I originally had made it five foot. Well, I've taken off two foot of it. And now it's time to go and finish putting together the rest. So we'll see how it goes. I kind of like the idea because now it's a lot smaller and it'll be a lot more compact for when you're ready to go home. So let's go ahead and get it set up. I'm gonna make the rest of them. All right, another thing what I've also done too is the side support buoys. I have actually made them a little shorter just cause I'm trying to improve the sail so it's more efficient for whoever's using it to get to and from location without too many parts being too long or too big to be able to put into the small compact area. So that's why I'm going a little shorter. But the foam, as you can see, is pretty big. just putting it all together just so you can kind of see what it's going to look like. stuffed on so the only thing that really sucks about this is that they really don't make floats specifically designed for this so we gotta adapt whatever we can so what I've done is I've used tape to add a little more gap and then a smaller piece of the same kind of foam to absorb the or to fill in the gap in between here and the PVC and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a cotter pin here as I have done on all of these to lock them in so that way they don't slide off or go anywhere. 
I just needed it also too to keep from sliding up that way and give it its counterbalance that I need. So. There we go. Now I got it locked in on both sides. All I have to do now is do the PVC glue to keep my sail from falling off the top. But when they're done each day, they can just fold it over and it's good to go to travel. And then when you get back out, get it right back up and they're right on target. So I'll continue on making the rest of these. This is my 200 pound guide wire. This is also my 1200 pound angle control for the sail. And like I said, when we get to that video of going out there and using it, you'll see what I mean on that one. Actually, we might do that later on today if we get lucky. So, we'll get it done. I don't have the guide wire for so I'm going to go ahead and install that now so that way this will be a done deal. What I also like to do is I like to pre-rig pre all my sleeves as I'm going so that way like I used to do my kingfish leaders um, I used to install the hooks and then I would sit there and fold and do all my bends but every time I would break off the excess piece, instead of it being a little tag in that you would throw away, it would stay hooked up to the main line. You know, and it doesn't seem like much, but when you're building two to three, four hundred of those king rigs all in one sitting, that'll add up and you end up eventually getting an extra liter out of it and stuff. So that's kind of my same philosophy when I'm building my leaders or anything with mono. Uh, try to keep the mess to a minimum. <laughs> Spices all the other drilling that I've already done, so. As you can see, this wants to kind of slide forward, which won't be a very beneficial thing to you if you're in very low wind. So what I'm gonna have to probably do is cut a little notch in there so that way it adds a little more tightness to it. So that way it keeps pressure to keep it keep my sail sitting up high not way down low. So. 
And I tell you what, these little cutters again from Home Depot are an awesome addition to our monofilament cutters. They're made for electrical wire, so monofilament is pretty nice to cut once it's all done. So there's number two.